Hey guys, it's Alan. It's Sunday night. I'm doing my weekly check-in. Uh, first things first, my weigh-in. Weighed in this morning and I lost two pounds, which brings me down to 362 pounds. Uh, you no, know, I, I can't uh, not be happy with that. The last few weeks have been, you know, really, uh, really good. I've been, um, I've had a lot of momentum and I've been carrying it through each week, and I'm inching closer and closer to breaking into the 350s. I don't know if I'll do it this week, um, but I'm going to give it my all and see what happens. Uh, everything, so I, like I said, everything weight loss is going good. I mean, I, don't know, I say that, I've been saying that for the last few weeks, but it's just because things have been going really good. And when the things are going good, you got to just roll with it and you got to just keep the momentum going and maximize it as much as you can because there's going to be weeks where things aren't rolling good. When you have plateaus or bad weeks or frustrations, and um, so that's why it's important to maximize uh, the good weeks. So we'll keep rolling. Uh, what else happened over the past week? A, um, I joined the 90 day challenge at Lifetime Fitness yesterday. So I weighed in yesterday at the gym, and uh, 90 days I weighed in again, and uh. I guess they're you know it's a contest. I think you can win prizes, um, you know, for for placing or whatever. And um, I'm really excited about it because I want to win. Plain and simple, I want to win it. Um, at least for my gym, I want to be number one in my gym. So I'm really gonna push hard. Not that I don't push hard normally, but I'm gonna push even harder. <laughs> and maybe I can uh, take number one. Yeah, at my gym so we'll see what happens you know it's really just for fun push yourselves to get you know get you to get people who are sort of been struggling you know back into the into the groove so it's really a fun challenge they're gonna have some like uh, grocery store tours and um little seminars on cooking and eating and stuff like that so probably i'll attend those uh because uh you know you just gotta keep learning so other than that what else Oh, I'm doing a experiment this week. It's called the... I announced this on Instagram the other day. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. Uh, my name is at sweating underscore it underscore off. But I see a lot of people who struggle with a scale who feel like they're, you know, chained to it, who feel like the, the scale controls them. And I used to be there, so I'm not uh, judging anybody because I... Literally used to be scared of scale. I used to uh, have anxiety every night before the day of my weigh-in. I, I wouldn't be able to sleep. I would toss. I would turn because uh, I was worried about what the scale was going to say the next day. Luckily, over the past three years, I've sort of gotten over that, and I really don't even think about the scale anymore. Uh, I actually have to put a reminder on my phone to weigh in on Sundays. Otherwise, I'll forget. But so I posted a picture on Instagram with a scale and a chain to somebody's leg, and uh, I said I'm gonna do an experiment this week. I'm gonna weigh myself three times a day every day this week, and I'm gonna share the results every day on Instagram. And at the end of the week, I'll make a video, post about it, and talk about it here. But I just want people to see how much your weight can fluctuate from when you wake up to the afternoon to the night into the next day. Because I know people who get on a scale literally every hour. Or well, they got on a scale five times a day and they're wondering why the weight's up and, they, you know, they just worked out. Why did they, they didn't lose weight or why did they gain weight, you know? I've been there. I know what it's like. But I'm going to be your guinea pig this week and I'm going to do that. And so, like I said, I'm going to weigh in three times a day, uh, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once at night before I go to bed. And I'm going to post the results every day. Just to kind of see, you know, how the numbers are. I'm, I mean, I've done it before. I know the variations, uh, so they don't they don't freak me out. But I just want to show everybody else. So check it out on Instagram, and hopefully I'll do a uh, a video about it at the end of the week. And I'll probably post the numbers on my blog too, uh, www.sweatinguntilhappy.com. But other than that, guys. Uh, I had some prep work to finish up for the week, and I'm ready to, you know, just have another great week. Um, hope your 2013 goals are going well for you. Uh, if they're not, don't forget, it's still early in the year. It's not too late to turn it around. Uh, we have plenty of time, uh, even, you know, until the last day of the year. You can always do something. So, with that being said, talk to you guys later this week. Take care.